All right, just, just, a little, um, just a little bit of info on what it is that I'm using here, the setup that I have. Um, I, I know it's hard because like a lot of people don't want to necessarily go out and spend the money on a machine like this. But if you do happen to have a sprayer like this, it really does help to get better results. You don't have the brush marks, you don't have roller marks, that type of stuff. And I've been trying to find like a, a, a water-based product that's not as toxic as like the solvent-based stuff, your lacquers and things like that. And Sherwin-Williams actually showed me this product. It's a new product, they said. Um, it's for cabinet and millwork. It's a, it's a, a waterborne top coat. It's expensive, but I'm, at, I'm I'm really happy with, it's all sprayable. It's supposed, it's, it's already set up to spray, so you don't have to dilute it down. Um, but you put your, you just open the can. And then in this case, this is the, the, cap, the sprayer that I have. You know, you just dump it in there. Um, it doesn't it doesn't take a ton of material. Um, I'm gonna probably go through a gallon for this whole house that I've done, maybe a little bit more than a gallon. But yeah, you put that on, it tightens it down. This here changes the direction of the straw, so if you're going up, the, now the straw is near the back of the can. If I go this way, now the, now the straw is in the front of the can, the straw that pulls up the material. This is your air setting, your air adjustment. Um, it, it required, the max PSI, this is a smaller cap spray. This is a Titan cap spray, it's called. It's a, a high volume, low pressure system. HVLP is what they call it. Um, so it, it doesn't use a, a lot of pressure. It uses a large volume of air. Um, and so this is supposed to give you kind of a, a better finish. This one's a 95, which I think, I believe that means that it's max pressure is 9.5 which the can or the paint recommendation was a little bit more than that, but the guy said it'd be fine. So you, I have my air adjusted at max, which is, I have a little dial right here, um, and that's adjusted at max. And then this adjusts the flow, how much material is actually sprayed out, and I have that adjusted pretty far open. Um, and then I'm using a three, a number three tip, which is, they say is the size for, uh, recommended for this, which is nice with Sherman Williams. They, they kind of tell you what pressures, they tell you what cap size sprayers, um, cause it's set up for spraying. So, um, again, I, that's the material that I used. Uh, this is the, the sprayer that I'm using. I did sand it. This was a prime door, a prime door from Menard. So it's not super high end. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a fiberboard material, but I did sand it down and it's, I think it's going to be a nice finish. This one, had a little bit, a little more pocking on it in the primer, um, little pinholes and stuff. But I did try to sand as much of that as I could. I mean, the nice thing about this product is, is it dries fast. So I just sprayed this, and now it's already, it's already dry. And so the nice thing again about the setup is I can spin it around, do both sides. And so in about 10 minutes, um, you should probably lightly sand between coats too. It's, it's recommended there. Um, but in about 10 minutes or so, this door will be ready. And then the nice thing is I sprayed those last night. You can already stack them. It's a water-based product. Usually that means it takes a, long, a longer time to, to set up and dry, but they're, they're dry within an hour or two. Um, and then like today, I can actually move them around, stack them. And that's, that's why it's really nice. So yeah.